Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. Hope everyone's doing well and you are taking care of yourselves. Now, before I get started, guys, I have to remind you, I am not a financial advisor. I'm simply sharing my thoughts and opinions, so please only take it as that. Now, a lot of stuff going on today has been, oh man, not good, um, very interesting, and also quite shocking. Um, as we can see, the whole market did tank uh, decently today. And due to the things that are going on, I think that is that has a lot to do with it. XRP has recovered a bit. I think it got down as far as 25 cents, but it's come back up a couple, you know, come back up since then. Bitcoin also took quite a hit. As you can see, I mean, pretty much everything is just dumped. Um, main reason why obviously is probably because of uh the whole zuckerberg um issue today uh and i guys i gotta tell you um i would not want to be this guy facebook's zuckerberg takes broad lashing on libra 2020 election and civil rights at congressional hearing who man he i mean i was watching some of this and he is definitely taking a lashing i mean i wouldn't even call it a lashing they're beating his ass it is it is brutal man it is brutal to watch now i mean i don't know where he stands on you know what's going on in the background with him and what he's you know being told to do or whatever but i mean it does not uh relieve him of the fact of being in front of congress and getting his butt just absolutely kicked i would not at all want to be this guy so also uh, like I was saying Bitcoin and the whole market pretty much tanked uh, in here and uh, on coin telegraph they are citing three reasons now uh, first reason is say technicals support finally gives after the ninth try now I don't put right now because of the crypto markets uh, you know infancy uh, because that's absolutely where we're in the square in the middle of I really I just don't put a whole lot of stock into uh, TA I mean to me TA is kind of like uh, in, in this market anyway it's kind of like trying to predict which way a car is gonna turn even though it's traveling down the middle lane you, know, you just don't know I mean you can guess all day long but you know it could, it could turn right left it could just keep going straight who knows um, so I think that's where we are right now uh, at least in, uh, say, in the stock market, you know, the car is in the right lane and most likely, hey, it's going to turn right. You just got to kind of figure out which way it's going to turn, right? Or rather, when it's going to turn. Uh, so the other reasons they give, Mr. Zuckerberg goes to Washington. So obviously this is uh, very likely uh, the main reason why uh, all of this happened. Um, again, it's kind of hard to say. The, the market is so... Um, erratic it's, it's just hard to predict and then also they say Google's quantum breakthrough spooks Bitcoin investors um, yeah that's pretty interesting now I have not looked into what this big breakthrough is I, kn I do know uh, there have been I've, I've watched some videos on how the whole quantum thing works quantum computing um, it, it just kind of seems to me like uh, quantum computing isn't so uh, necessarily, at least right now, the way the, the uh, technology works isn't so specific in uh, in its usage that it could be um, kind of set up to specifically crack a, uh, a, a an encrypted uh, you know key or something like that. But I don't know. Maybe that's what this uh, breakthrough is. I definitely have to uh, take a look at it. Uh, look at that now. Uh, also, they say here BTC, say here BTC price double top in it at today's drop. Um, yeah, you know, we'll just have to see what happens after this. This could be kind of a, you know, kind of a drop before something better. I mean, hell, it could be uh, a drop before we see a further drop. It's it, you just don't know. I mean, it, the, the whole market is so heavily dependent on the news that comes out right now that uh yeah it's it's very difficult to say what's going to happen so okay um one thing that i wanted to just kind of touch on real quick uh, before i go into uh, this other uh, kind of information 
was I saw something from DM Logic earlier today. He was talking about uh, this theory that Galgatron has. He, he called it the monkey in the elevator or something like that, but I, I'm not I'm not quite sure if that's actually what it's called. Uh, but again, nonetheless, I found it very interesting. I definitely want to. Uh, I've never really talked about DM Logic, but you know, definitely want to give him a shout out for putting that up on Twitter. And um, essentially, this uh, this theory that Galgatron was talking about, because DM said he doesn't necessarily go in for the whole Shane Ellis theory. I mean, I don't know. Personally, I don't think there's any way we can say yes or no or, or whatever. I mean, we just don't know. Nobody knows what's happening because this market, I'm going to tell you, I do hold this one belief. And that is that this market is so easily manipulated that we cannot know. I think uh, just in this, you know, in this time period that we're in right now, the manipulation is going to be heavy and very obvious. It's, it's very obvious to me uh, as we move forward and, you know, maybe regulations come in uh, more heavily uh, that could easily stop and or slow down. But, you know, I just don't think that, you know, we can predict or, or call anything with any, uh, you know, surety. So anyway, he was saying that basically this theory says that as the uh, speculation or, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, as people come in, uh, speculative, speculative investors come in, it raises the price and then the utility goes up to meet that price and it kind of locks it in. Right. Uh, so in other words, um, you know, and it, he did that at several levels, but it kind of to summarize the whole thing, uh, basically the utility needs uh, higher levels or higher, uh, uh, let's see, value of XRP to be able to provide liquidity for larger amounts of uh, volume or, uh, you know, this uh, utility, right? So if um, like right now with it being so low, it can only handle the uh, 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 liquidity that would require or that's required in a, in a, in a level where 29 cents or 26 cents or wherever it's at right now uh, can provide. It won't grab anything higher until we take the price higher, until the speculation takes the high, price higher. So once it, once that goes, then we can get bigger payments or something, you know, something to that effect. I mean, that's kind of what I took from it, but either way, I find it very interesting. Um, Shane Ellis theory is very interesting. This theory is very interesting, but again, it's all speculation until we, you know, and until we actually see it in action. Uh, that's, that's the way I look at it. Okay. So, uh, another thing that I found um, very <laughs> interesting. Okay. Is this right here? So I kind of think that if we had to put uh, a company behind Bitcoin, uh, in my eyes, it would be more so like Bitmain. And ma basically the reason I say that is because Bitmain, uh, they sell a lot of mining equipment. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, uh, with Bitmain, you can just go to bitmain.com. I think it is still bitmain.com and look at all the mining uh, equipment they have for sale. Um, but either way, here it says Bitmain fulfills commitment to Rockdale, Texas, right here in uh, you know, the Lone Star State with launch of cryptocurrency mining farm to construct 50 megawatt, megawatt facility. So, um, they are planning, and this is basically coming from uh, the or 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 happening because Bitmain wants to uh, kind of give more uh, or or take away the stigma of the centralization in China. So they're looking to make the largest uh, mining farm right here in Texas, in Rockdale, Texas. Why Rockdale? I cannot tell you. It must be because the uh, electricity there is really cheap. But either way, I mean, Texas electricity is not too bad. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty cheap here, I, I would say. But uh, it says here the facility was announced alongside the Rockdale Municipal 
municipal development district and DMG can explain, uh, I'm sorry, to, can expand to a capacity of more than 300 megawatts. Okay, so that's uh, that's quite significant there. But um, here it says Bitmain unveils 33,000 acre Bitcoin mining facility in Texas. This is really, really, I don't know if I should be concerned or or you know kind of intrigued it's I don't know um, you know one thing I've always said is even though I am NOT a fan really of Bitcoin anymore at one time I was uh, you know I don't think Bitcoin is going anywhere anytime soon now will it last forever hey who knows but um, the fact is there's there they are putting a lot of money there are a lot of people invested in Bitcoin that have you know every reason to uh, try to make it work out so this is going to be very, you know, it's going to be interesting. I, I personally, once they get this thing uh, started or, or built or whatever, uh, I plan on going down here to just check it out to see what it looks like. It's not too far from where I live. Uh, Austin itself is, I don't know, it may be a couple hours or, you know, maybe even an hour away from Austin. But uh, either way, I think it would be interesting to uh, uh, check it out. And uh, yeah, this is this is going to be really interesting. Now down in this area, it's called uh, big. It's called Hill Country, and it's 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 a beautiful area. I, I have to tell you, if you haven't been to Texas before, uh, you should really come. You know, there, Texas is. Uh, most people believe it's just this cows and people run around with cowboy hats and drive with cowboy boots and drive big trucks. Now, although I do drive a big truck. Uh, I don't have any cowboy boots and I don't have a cowboy hat. Neither do I have cows. But Texas has pretty much every type of uh, um, topography you've ever, you know, you're going to be able to see. It has dense forests over in East Texas. Uh, you have desert. Uh, you have prairie. You have uh, mountain ranges. It's it's just extremely diverse in that way. So, um and, and, you know, like I said, it's a beautiful, beautiful area. This down here is very beautiful as well. So uh, if you get a chance, you might want to check out Texas. Uh, not, I mean, I'm not shilling for Texas now. <laughs> so anyway, moving on. Uh, Ripple's, uh, Ripple's XRP is in for explosive growth. Prominent venture investor uh, Tim Draper says. So, you know, I mean, we all know that at some point XRP has to increase uh, its price, right? It has to. To be able to capture and um, provide the liquidity that is, I mean, that's necessary right now, it has to increase. Now, I was just watching a video where um, Brad Garlinghouse said that um, the CEO of MoneyGram called him and they're ready to, you know, continue to expand. He said he's actually, the CEO of MoneyGram is actually upset with him because they're not moving fast enough. And, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I, I, I kind of feel like I personally just think that it's purposeful. They are, they are, I think that they're not being told or they're being told that they cannot move forward just yet. That's what I think. Um, with the heavy tie-ins with the uh, U.S. government, I mean, obviously they're moving to D.C. and all this. With those, uh, you know, deep connections, uh, they definitely... Um, you know, march to that fiddle, you know, or, you know, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. But either way, they are marching to the tune of a higher power. That's what I believe. I don't think that Ripple is, is essentially sovereign. Um, so uh, I know right now we're being told and shown that, but I, I just don't think they are, you know, doing their own thing. But hey, again, Speculation, speculation, speculation. So, guys, that is all I have for you. Um, I guess we'll have to see what happens over these next few days uh, leading into Swell. And then after, I personally really hope that we see something. But again, guys, who knows? Uh, this, this, Again, this market is so fickle. Um, it's just there's just no way we can tell. Um, the main thing I can tell you, just a couple things, be patient if you can be and uh, and just understand that 
the fundamentals are there. We know that XRP or rather Ripple, they have they have the partnerships. They have XRP has the use case, um, but for whatever reason, it is just not time for anything to happen. So um, we have to basically make it to that other side. And I know that journey could very well be uh, a very tough one, guys. So let's just you know keep our heads up and keep on moving. It, you know, it, it it could get worse, but I think it's I, I personally think it's going to get better. All right, guys, uh, if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the like button and that post notification button. So, you know, when I post it again. Until next time, this has been Mr. Free Corner. Take care of yourself and God bless.